Hello and welcome to my salsa. Today we want to work on our body movement when we dance salsa. Intro. 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 So, what do you think guys? is the most important thing in order to have a great body movement for your salsa dancing. Where does it start? From the shoulders, your head, your hips, your feet. What, what, what do you think, what is the most important thing? Yes, that's true. Exactly, exactly. So, when do you build a house? So you start from the bottom right so everything starts from here so what we're gonna do today is we start from here we go to into our uh, knees hips and then the shoulders okay so and now let's start with your feet so imagine now we are on the stepper okay on the stepper that means if you go on the step i don't have a stepper unfortunately if we go on the stepper it looks like that Bam. Bum, 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 right? So, what we're gonna do is to transfer your weight on your left, okay? Usually, if we do shines or your basic steps, it starts actually with your left. It depends, in partner work, of course, it's different, but let's start everybody with your left, okay? So, and I just turn around, if I start on my left leg so now I want to transfer all the way to the left which means I start with my toe okay not with my heel with my toe that's the first thing okay so I I just put all the weight on the, the, the ball of my foot here and squeeze it down as soon as I arrive here, my right leg comes up like that, okay? Again, we are staying on our right, okay? And now we go and do one, okay? And as soon as I go into that movement, I change the weight on to the left. Okay, very important. Let's do it one more. As I said, with the left, okay, it looks like that. So do me a favor and use that leg. So, and then from here on, I go one. Okay, one. Don't focus on my arms, I will come to that topic later. So it's one. One. Okay, so that's very important. Okay, so, and now let's do the same way to the right. Okay, so imagine now we do go now. One, so it's one, and now we transfer the weight to the right leg, which is bum. Okay, so like, like on the stepper, okay? And we change all the time, okay? One, two, one, two, one, and two and one and two and one and two yeah squeeze it into the ground okay or floor bam okay so very really important as you do your basic step is that if you go forward do not go forward with your heel go forward with your toe like that okay that's what i mean also by bending the knees you don't walk like that yeah so <laughs> so really important everything needs to be natural but let's go continue like that <clears throat> so if we stay here we go like that like a ballerina you know like no, it doesn't look like that. But anyway, 
So we go forward like that into a one. We bring the weight to the left. You see? And go back. Okay, it's one. One. Okay? Very important. So try to keep that in mind that as soon as you go forward or even on the on the on place on the same spot that you start with your toe okay with the ball of the foot here and then you you bring it down okay bam 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 okay so let's try to do that in our basic step how does it look like well it looks like that. It's one, two, three, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, and five, six, seven, and a one, two, three, five, six, and seven. Very important that your height, yeah, is always on the same level. Okay, don't go up and down. Okay, the one is actually, anyways, downbeat, so it goes down. Two is an upbeat in salsa, but this is another topic. Okay, <clears throat> so go into your one and two and three. Okay, very important, always go like that. So, if you're a soccer player, you know what I mean, like, yeah, like. I have a ball here, but doesn't matter. Okay, let's do it one more time together. I just turn five, six, seven, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, and two. So you see that bending the knees is very important so and now let's focus on this area okay so we have the feet and now it comes to the pelvic okay so we will talk about the body isolation if i go forward like that my my body from here goes to the right correct yeah, so that means my upper body is also going to the right. But this is wrong. Because in order to get the power, you need, and that's the same way you run, you need to go with this arm forward, like that. Okay, so there, if we do that together, you, you place your one, and you see here, my shift is like going to the right, my pelvic is to the right, my upper body now needs to isolate, like that. And now I feel here on my belly, on my stomach here, a tension. So, but my upper body is going in more this direction. So you see here, my pelvic goes to the right, and me here, upper body is going to this movement. And that's also the way I run, you know? That's the same way. If you run, you don't run like that. I don't, I can't, I can't do that actually, but, you know, but that's not the way, okay? So they dance like that. One, two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three, yeah? But if, I, I guess, when they would run, it would look like that. You see, I go forward like that, you see? Maybe you can test it at home right now. If you do that, you see that I'm doing that, okay? And that's very important. And now, let's do a special exercise to understand the feeling of this body isolation. And I got this exercise actually from, um, from Oliver Panida. Okay, let's try to do that right now. So if you're at home, make yourself comfortable and try to just follow me, okay? 
So I turn around and what I do now, I put my hands just to the right side of my, of my body and now let's try to switch to the left. So like that, ba. okay? I do the same way, now to the right. Ba. And if you try to make that fast, this is not possible, right? It's not possible. And now comes the exercise. Our body is looking to the right, but now our arms are going to the left. Okay, you see, this area is looking to the right, as, a, as we would do the one. And this area here, upper body, is going to the left. And now we try to switch to the right, which would be like that. Uh-huh. And now we do the same way. In the same way. In the same way. Twist again. Yeah, you see that you can twist, but it won't work if we would do like that. Okay, looks stupid, right? <clears throat> so, in order now to remember the body movement, which I try to explain, now we come up to our shoulders okay all right so because we have learned that first of all everything starts from the bottom it's our foundation the second was of <clears throat> the second was our knees yeah so if you straight your legs that doesn't work so please do it like that and you go into your one okay into your one two Okay, we have learned about the weight transfer. Okay, so body isolation, I think that's fine. If you would run, please try to, to see how you run. Okay, try to understand your body, try to make everything natural. That's the most important thing. Okay, and now let's go up for our shoulders to understand this move completely. Okay, <clears throat> so. And now I want you to make a favor, just stay like that, okay? And do the first steps, which was one and two and one and two and one and two. Now, see, as I do, as I do the one, make sure that your right arm is pointing to your left shoulder. One. Do you see that? Two. Left arm is pointing to the right shoulder. And also a really good tip for you. As you stay like that, your shoulder plate is watching down like that. Down to your knee, which is bending like that. If we turn now, it happens the same way. We point to our left and this shoulder plate is looking down to your knee and say, hello, hello, how are you? Yeah, and now we switch again like that. And this is the way you can try to keep that in mind, okay? So what I want you to do to practice is <clears throat> to practice it at home, okay? So we do one, Two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, 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 two. I'm coming. Yes, just do that. It looks a little bit awkward, but <clears throat> doesn't matter. So it's one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, three, and five, six, seven. One, two, three, and five, six, seven. So, and if you don't know, <clears throat> you can't remember how it was. So, just point as you go to your forward. Also, make sure, like, if you would, like, walk like that, like in slow motion. 
You see, it's the same way, okay? So always compare dancing with walking, okay? Anyway, so that means if I step forward, this on my right arm is going forward and it's pointing. This is just to help you, okay? Pointing your left shoulder the same way to the right, okay? And then if you try to fix that and to, to make it happen on the stop, then the last step would be to make it natural in your moves. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. <clears throat> so, what I don't want is that you look worse than before, okay? I've seen it a lot that people are really good in teaching you the body movement. But if you do like, and you don't know what to do, try first to practice look in the mirror or record yourself that will help you you can also send me a video and i will help you and that is for free help you to to understand and to to improve your um, body movement last tip now the shoulders as we go like that the shoulder here is moving back so as soon as i go one two and three and four you see that the shoulders are rolling back okay but as i said try first working on your foundation knees pelvic shoulders okay one two and three five six seven and one two and three five six seven just for example your hands also very important ladies you can put your arms like that out yeah always try to 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 open your chest the same way for the guys for the men okay always try to put your shoulders a little bit behind like that so then i'm better you know you understand what i'm saying if you're like hey, I'm okay. it doesn't work yeah it doesn't look nice so Shoulders needs to come back, you see? Like confidence. Confidence. Ah, now it's like I come from my training, you know? So, and that's really important. Ladies as well. Ladies as well. If you're like that, the whole posture looks like that. Okay? Many people are talking about my styling, about my Styling, but if you take a man styling class, styling is like man styling. You do like pop, 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 pop. Yeah, you do some shines, some, some, some choreography. So, well, maybe you're right. I understand what you mean with styling, but it's all about posture, hero positions like that. You know, this is also something you can try to, to yeah, have some exercises the same way. This is the same way. Okay, so you see Oliver Pineda is always like ba -ba, two, three, five, six, ba -ba, two, three, five, six, ba -ba, ba -ba, okay? So that's very important, okay? And for many people, as I said, this movement, okay, without body isolation, is something you, you, you can't do it overnight. You need to train that. Do it in your office. When I was dancing and trying to make the pachanga, I was doing a coffee and I was like, yes, yeah, 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 mach ich sofort, yeah, mach ich sofort, yeah, yeah, komm, ich komm gleich, I'm German, of course, so. <clears throat> and yes, so try to practice wherever you are. If you're on the toilet, no, maybe not. Just try to focus and understand your body. That's really important. Because dancing is something which helps you to, to have a better posture, also confidence, okay? So it helps you to understand, okay? And, and, and you become also more in harmony with your body. And this is really interesting, okay? So try to start with the foundation to understand your knees, your hips, yeah, with your pelvic and body isolation and then the shoulders. 
okay? And if you're done, you're 80. <laughs> no, just kidding. You know why I think that fart smelled so bad? Why? Because you've been holding it in for 90 years. <laughs> <laughs> so I hope I could help you with all those exercises. Try first start everything doing on the same spot and then try to go and make your first steps. Yeah, so it's one, two, three, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, pause, one, two, three, pause, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, five, six, seven. And I also mentioned, I said, you know, the height of your head, really important, do not go up and down, okay? And yeah, I think that's it. I think that's, uh, uh, yeah, I wanted to say, wanted to share with you guys. I know that many people, yeah, are now at home and I think try to see that situation as a positive way. You can use that opportunity to, to invest the time in yourself or in your family. Try just to do something positive. Yeah, if you are at home just watching Netflix, try to invest the time, try to make something beautiful, okay? Even if it's dancing or just investing yourself in your personal life. So that's very important because if you have heard, I think everybody is also watching the news that there are so many people dying because they are so sad and, and a suicide and, and so try to dance, try to express yourself because it's oh, um, because it's not an, an easy time. So try to stay positive, try to invest in yourself. I think I've said it now 10 times, sorry. And yes, try to work on your body movement and yeah, share it on YouTube, share it on Instagram and let me know if you need help. Okay, thank you very much for watching and see you. Bye-bye.